Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to share with you some of my favourite jewellery pieces. I've always been obsessed with jewellery, actually even before I started my obsession with handbags. Um, my first obsession was with earrings, which I have quite um, a few pairs of. And then in more recent years, I've also evolved my ring and necklace collection. So this is my jewellery box, which is one of my most prized possessions. Everything jewellery wise sits in here and I absolutely love everything within this. In this top tray are the things that I wear most frequently and also my fine jewellery items. And then in a couple of trays down here, I've got some of my more costume pieces, which I don't wear that regularly at all. So I will pick out my fine jewellery and also some demi, semi fine jewellery, whatever it is they call these days. But the um, likes of Monica Vinader and Ashley Clark, that type of jewellery in that middle range. Um, and let's get straight into it. OK, so I am going to start with my necklaces and I will go through the fine jewellery items first and then um, the semi demi fine jewellery. The first one here is a gorgeous pearl necklace on an 18 carat yellow gold chain and as you can see these pearls are spaced out by this um, gold threading and I wanted a pearl necklace but I wanted something that looked slightly more youthful in my opinion than the very classic pearl necklaces which have pearls all the way around. Um, I feel like this one just gives a slightly younger look and I love the sparkle that you get from the gold. And this one has a pretty classic clasp that you get on a lot of pearl jewellery. So it's just this hook that you pull out and unhook like that. And then you can just rehook it like so and push that down. So it's a very secure clasp. And I'll be honest, I haven't worn this many times because it does feel very formal for me and I don't tend to dress that formally. Um, but if you're going to a particularly posh location for dinner, this really looks the part. The next necklace is my other pearl necklace, which is a single dainty, dainty pearl on an 18 karat yellow gold chain. And I really love this one. This has a cl um, cluster of diamonds there sitting on top of a Japanese pearl. And I really like this because the chain is very shiny as well, but very dainty. So very classic look. The next necklace is this diamond one, which is definitely inspired by the Tiffany Diamonds by the Yard collection. I love that collection. So Tiffany, um, Tiffany's Diamond by the Yard and also Cartier's Diamond Leisure. And apologies if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. This is inspired by that. I actually ordered this from Etsy from a jeweler based in somewhere Eastern Europe. And it is just beautiful. This is definitely my most worn yellow gold necklace. It's on a lovely 18 karat gold chain. And then you have that single diamond. So honestly, you can just wear this with any outfit, any occasion. It is just a little, a little bit of sparkle um, on the neckline. I love it. And this diamond, I don't remember the exact size, but it is um, quite large. Um, I'm just going to say that it's quite large compared to the um, diamond by the yard ones. And it's great value for money. And that was it for me with this piece is um, I wasn't bothered about the brand at all. I just wanted something this style. And so when I found this on Etsy, um, I just totally went for this instead of the Tiffany version. That one is definitely my most worn yellow gold. And then this is my most worn white gold necklace. This is 18 karat white gold and it is a lovely floral pendant with a diamond in the middle. 
and I just love how this sits on the neck and it looks beautiful on a plain jumper so I wear a lot of cashmere jumpers and this looks so great with them and you can wear this at two different lengths so it can sit higher in the neck or further down if you've got a lower jumper and I really like this one I like all of these um, which is why I have them the next one here I don't wear so much, but is very pretty. It is a um, white gold pendant, again with a diamond cluster. And then you have, I think it's a tanzanite stone in the middle. It's not sapphire, it's whichever one the lighter blue stone is. And it's a very pretty one. Unfortunately, the original chain of this did break. So at the moment, I've got it on a nine carat white gold chain, which comes um, came with my other necklace. But I do really like that as well. And then my final uh, fine jewellery necklace is this one. It's a yellow gold, another one of those dainty necklaces. And also you have the return of the diamond cluster, which I've only just noticed I have on quite a few of my necklaces. And then there's a very small amethyst stone in the middle, and that is the birthstone um, for my month, born in February. And so this is a lovely dainty one as well. So that's all my fine jewellery necklaces. Oh, and then I'll just show you, this is the pendant which came with that nine carat gold chain. This was my first necklace. I got this probably when I was like 13 or something like that. Um, nine carat white gold with a few small little diamonds in there. My parents got that for me as my first fine jewellery piece. So lots of sentimental value there. Let's move on to the... Um, semi demi fine jewellery so here is a necklace from Astley Clark I really like this one so much so that I got the matching ring and it also comes with matching earrings but I haven't quite completed the set yet and it is a um, gold plated I think it's 14 karat gold plated on brass with mother of pearl and mother of pearl is one of my favorite um don't know what to call it but materials or services i absolutely love this and this is quite a short necklace that sits closer up in the neckline um and a little bit more of a costume jewelry type but still quite a classic style the next one is a sil sterling silver longer necklace this is from george jensen uh, i love george jensen brand it's a um Scandinavian sort of very clean styles lots of sterling silver that's used but they also have much more expensive um gold items as well and then they do primarily um home furnishings of a silver nature but their jewelry line is very beautiful so I definitely re recommend checking them out and this is this lovely I don't know what to call it um but this you can wear at a shorter and longer length and um, I opt for this when I want something that's slightly more like costume jewellery style. And what else do I have? The next one is from Tiffany & Co. This is the Interlocking Circles Pendant, which I need to give a bit of a polish to. This is in sterling silver and it's just got these two interlocking rings. You can get a bracelet version of this as well and you can also buy this in yellow gold um but this is very cute and was a gift from my boyfriend quite a few years ago and my final necklace that isn't um sort of full-on jewelry sorry costume jewelry type is this one from monica vinader which is in a rose gold i think this is gold plated uh and just a couple of letters for couple of initials so love that as well for a more casual look so that's everything on my necklaces there's only a few more pieces that I want to show you here because everything else is um less fine or demi semi fine um so my only real fine pair of earrings are these which are absolutely stunning so um these are 18 carats white gold 
with the diamond and cluster around it so that halo look and these are just exquisite they are so classic uh, they just close like that and these were from goldsmiths in the uk they're very classic um very small and dainty and I just, these are my favourite by far. I love these. Um, I would love to wear these every day, but if I'm honest, I am sometimes slightly scared that I will lose one of them if I'm just being very carefree during the day and particularly if it gets tangled in my hair. So I probably wear this definitely on a weekly basis, but it's not the type that I will just have on you know, when I'm showering or sleeping or anything like that, um, I do have to choose to wear these for certain days, but um, easily my favourite because they are just absolutely stunning. And what else are oh, my two bracelets or bangles? Uh, this is the latest addition to my jewellery collection, which you'll see in one of my recent videos on the Cartier Diamant Legere bracelet and this is just so beautiful. I am absolutely in love with this. This was a gift from my boyfriend to celebrate our 10th anniversary and it is so special to me. Uh, like with the necklace, I love the Diamond by the Yard or the Diamant Legere range and I've actually been wanting one of these bracelets for about seven or eight years now. I thought I wanted the Tiffany one, the Diamonds by the Yard, um, and it wasn't until recently I actually tried this Cartier one on, and I prefer it so much more to the Tiffany one. I love the shine of the chain. I love this little um, symbol dangly thing, um, and I love the two lengths on the chain. And then the setting for the diamond itself is just, it has that extra something special, um, in my opinion. So... I just think this is beautiful. This range from Cartier comes in uh, yellow gold, white gold and rose gold. This is the yellow gold. And then for the bracelets, the diamonds come in three different sizes. They call it the um, extra small. And then there is a small medium, which is this one. And this is 0 0.09 carats for diamond. So we're talking very small diamonds here. And then the largest size, um, is just called the Diamant Legere bracelet. It doesn't have a size name attached to it. And on that one, the diamond is 0 0.13 carats. But I just think this is beautiful and it looks so nice on the wrist. But check out my other video if you want to have a more detailed look at this bracelet. And then the other piece is this George Jensen bangle, which I wear every day. I've worn every, I think probably every single day since I got this a few years ago. This one is a still sterling silver bracelet. And then it's got this little diamond cluster here, which I love. And then you just hook the bangle on like that. What I really like is it's an oval shaped bangle. And um, that's only really made possible because you can... Um, open up the bangle like this to make it easier to get on the wrist. But this is very timeless, very elegant, and just a nice piece of wrist wear. I think that's it. And I just want to show you my two watches quickly as well. They're not really fine in any sense, but they are both from Burberry. And um, I had shown it in one of my favourites videos a while ago. This was my first piece. Both of these are from Burberry the City range and um, in stainless steel. And then this one is much more classic looking, I think, than this rose gold one. Um, but this stainless steel in silver has a, a uh, mother of pearl dial, which is my favourite for watches. And then you've got diamonds at each hour. And you can see very faintly there's the Burberry um, what's it called? The Burberry check on that mother of pearl, which I love. And then this is much more recent. It's the same range, but just a different vibe. It's much more casual, um, a little bit more sporty and, um, less, I say less ladylike in the sense that um, it's, a, it's a larger watch and it doesn't have the features like the mother of pearl and the diamonds, but it comes with a date and the second hand and 
you can see it's got the Burberry check all across the band, but still quite understated. So I really like both of those. Um, and I wear a watch every day, pretty much every day I'll wear this one. And then some days I will wear this rose gold one. So that is it for this video. Um, I realise I haven't shown you many of my earrings and I do have a lot of earrings. I wear a pair every day uh, and I tend to change it in and out on a daily basis as well. But I will do a separate video on that because I'm conscious that this one is getting towards like 15 or so minutes. I don't want it to be too long. So I'll leave it there for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I love my jewellery collection and uh, I think I will forever be adding to it it so hey let me know if you have any of these if you're interested in any of these and what you think about the semi demi fine jewelry industry which has just absolutely blown up in the last few years with the likes of monica villadere and ashley clark missima uh really keen to hear your thoughts on those and whether they are worth it Thank you so much for watching as always. If you've got any suggestions for videos, uh, please do let me know and I will see you in my next one.